Okay, this is just a quick video to talk about spacing your uh, piston rings, lubing them up, and getting, a, getting your whole piston installed. Now, first you want to take some engine oil and you want to lube your piston rings up really good. Okay, now, on the engine, my engine, it wants the, uh, it wants the ring set 120 degrees apart. So, I've just got a circle. I've got 120 degree lines on there. And I'm going to set the top ring supposed to be at 12 o'clock when I'm in this orientation. And then the next ring goes to about 7, seven o'clock. And then the last ring goes down here to like 4 o'clock or whatever that is. Okay, so now I've got my rings in the right orientation. Some, some people say put them 180 degrees apart, whatever. This is what the, the manual says for this engine. So then I've got a compressor here. They make two styles. The other one's a clamp compressor down here. Um, probably better than this one, but this is what I have. So if you're buying one, I would probably buy the other one. Be sure you're well oiled in here. I'll put some more oil on the outside of this piston. Now, if you're using one of these, be sure you've got this coil that's on that, that band on the outside pushed down nice and flat and then tighten it up for all your worth. Like that. Now I'm going to push it down to the other end because that's the end it's going to go out. Like that. I'm going to give it one more squeeze. And then we're ready to install it. All right, so then bring your piston over, <clears throat> get your crank in the right orientation, and then be sure you get your piston in the right orientation, and that should be in your rebuild manual, or you marked your pistons when you took them out if you're doing this all yourself. Just get you a soft hammer. And it's in. All right, now I forgot to say, before you put that in, be sure you get your lubricant on your bearing. And I'm just using some assembly lubricant, and it's really just kind of a, a light grease. It sticks better and doesn't drip off. Again, make sure your cap's in the right orientation. Hopefully you marked them before you took them off. Or you follow the manufacturer's guide for which way they point. All right, and then torque them. All right, and that's how you install a piston. Hope that was helpful to you. Thank you for watching.